Hi, this is Justin from Hotspot Nymphing, and today Diamondback sent me out their new Ideal Nymph Rod in the 10 foot 2 weight. I'm going to give you my first impressions, so let's get to it. So I've kind of bounced around the river a lot, it's pretty crowded. And there's a few fish rising downstream and a slower slick. I did catch one, I think. It's definitely tough. There aren't many fish, not many stalkers in this river right now. I think most of them have been taken out. There we go. Have a little waltz and a little blue paradigm. Both two five beads. There we go, another one. Oh, came off, same exact spot though. I am using not my favorite hooks. There we go, better fish. A rainbow? Nice rainbow, might be a wild one. I don't know. I think he's a stalker. So far, this rod feels great. Definitely a little bit faster action. Much quicker recovery, so whenever you cast, it doesn't keep wobbling. It's pretty direct, I would say. A lot of times, people will complain about faster rods missing slash losing more small fish. So I'll have to keep an eye on that. So far it's been doing great though. I've caught some pretty big fish on it. I've definitely caught a lot of little guys. A lot of little chubs. <laughs> some smaller small mouth and I just realized that my GoPro was definitely not facing towards where I was fishing. I don't know what sort of footage I got but I'm just fishing this little riffle. I have a, have a waltz worm, an old JDK Paradigon by Josh Miller. Oh, lost that one. I've been catching them here and there. There we go. That's the old guy. A little wild brown. There we go. A little bit better one. Right in front of me. Nice wild brown. <laughs> Big guy, so small. Hmm, <laughs> that's funny. That was probably the biggest one out of this run. He was way in the left side. Nice little wild brown. I mean, so far, I've not really been missing or losing too many small ones if I do everything correctly. I've been letting a lot of them just flop off my feet. I'm saying, as soon as you hook them. So far, it's been doing pretty good. I like this rod. A little bit nicer one. Nice looking brown. beauty. It's definitely nice to get away from everyone and fish the little riffles. I know the fish aren't going to be very big, but pretty much every 10 feet there's someone down there where they stock a whole bunch. There we go. I knew there had to be one in there. 
You never know when a 12 inch is gonna come out of that block. Like that. <laughs> Not 12, but. Good fish. Very pretty, wow. I switched up to a single waltz because I got tired of retying. Catch a lot of little guys and they just wrap you all up. So I just have a single 2-8 two, two bead waltz. He ate it way under those bushes. There we go. Good fish. And the side channel. Very pretty. Man, super pretty. Super. There we go. <laughs> I set the hook into the tree. Rainbow, huh? There we go. That was a really good drift. I had had several that were kind of blowing through there. I knew it was too fast. Finally, fly kind of sunk down and got in that groove. I had a great time fishing the yellow breeches with the new Diamondback Ideal Nymph Rod in the 10 foot 2 8. It was a very productive day and I caught a bunch of fish on a few different streams in the area. I really like the Diamondback's faster action, accuracy, soft tip, and a quick recovery. The handle is a little bit thin for my hand, but I have a very large hand so it's probably just right for most people. And I've gotten used to the handle pretty quickly. The rod is slightly heavier than other two weights I have fished and fights fish very well, so I'll definitely be using this rod to compete and fish with coming up. Thanks for watching, and I would highly recommend this rod for anyone who wants a high-end Euro-specific rod.